Hello everybody and welcome back to The Ball. Uh, the game that combines Katamari with The Walking Dead. And I learned an interesting trick with the ball. Yeah, in the trailer I saw this ball. But when I was playing it, obviously we all saw this ball and it kind of confused me as to why that was like that. Well, apparently it's a setting this one right here, the always transparent, makes the ball always transparent. But if I do it like that, it sets to auto transparency. So this is what I saw in the trailer, and it's, that's what confused me. This is why I thought there was multiple balls. But apparently not. Hmm. I don't know. Should I leave it as like this? I, I don't... I don't think I like it where it goes opaque like that. I might want to leave it transparent. I saw a zombie up here. Where's the zombie? Okay, I don't know. Alright, come on, Craig! Ooh, is this a thing that I can go through? Uh, apparently not. At least not that I can figure out anyways. Hmm. Alright. Game on! Alright, so let's see. There's a cart there that goes that way, and there's a cart. I'm looking to see if there's any, like, secrets or anything like that. Because there are secrets in here, and I've only found, what, one this entire time I've been playing? Well, obviously I can't go under that. Can I destroy it, though? No, I cannot. Whee! Alright, let's leave you there and let's go exploring! Let's go see what's down this hallway here. Probably a whole lot of nothing. I feel short playing this game for some reason. Hmm. I feel really short playing this game right now. I'm not crouching. Oh, I found something. What is... Oh, I fell off. Let's try this again. Up. No. Up the rock. You got up once. Why... Why can't I get up the rock a second time? Y'all saw it. I was on the rock. Come on. Uh, no. It won't let me back on the rock. What the crap? Oh, it let me there. Uh... I cannot pronounce that word. Secret 104. Last night I was seeing in my sleep. I saw the people of the Tempadal Tempadal Nation. All of them carried light. It was their influence, I realized. And I could see it swimming in the halls of the Sanctum, and beyond it a shape. A shape hidden in the forbidden place. So pure it blinded me. Brighter than the sun, I awoke shaking, cold with fever. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. I really don't. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this game. All I know is that I fell down a hole that I should probably not have walked away from and was told to go on and explore the caves without my friends who said they would take several hours to get a new crane up. Yeah. I don't know. It I know it's just, just uh, uh, something tacked on to get you to go hunting for things. To go into the cave and find the ball and all that fun crap, but it sounds like a really weak premise. Are we having fun yet? Hmm. In the water. Ah, so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a new mic. I got my new mic finally, the Blue Blue Yeti Pro. Look, more zombies that are stupid enough to commit suicide. Yeah, I got my Blue Yeti Pro. Um, one thing I have figured out that I haven't... Well, one thing that I've learned that I haven't figured out how to fix yet is that I have a problem with echo in this room. Um, oh, mini zombies. Okay. Dad. Oh. Well. 
that doesn't work. Um, why am I not moving? I can't move forward in the water. I can. Oh, might help if I actually push forward and not E. Come on, Craig. Amazing how fast that ball moves through water. All right, let's see. There's a cave up there that looks to be blocked off. There's a cave right there that looks to be blocked by a thing that I have to pull with ball. Yoink. Yay. Bang. Oh, but it looks blocked off too. Oh no, there's other pathways. Another pathway. Oh, what the crap? I got a secret too. My boy invented a net for fishing made of coils from fragile metal. I watched him use it in the underground river. He ran a current through the line, shocking many fish, enough for a hundred to feast. My daughter placed nutrients in a bed of sediment one night. The next morning, trees stood above our hut. We will trade the fruit at the, that word that I cannot pronounce anymore. Okay. Well, apparently I'm supposed to go the other way, and I guessed wrong. But I guessed right if I was looking for the secrets. Though, if that was a secret, that was kind of obvious of a secret. Nope, nope. Come back here. Alright, what's in here? Okay, hi. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh, hey, the ball's glowing. Oh, that might be why. Well, that's cool. Wait, are you a friendly? That probably should have killed me. What's going on? I have no idea what the crap's going on. Can I have Craig back, please? Um, I guess I have to go elsewhere. But where elsewhere? I mean, the guy's gone. How do I get up there? Do I have to... I don't want to get too far away from the ball because I don't know where I'm going. Oh! Pathway. Really ugly water. Well, crap. Oh! I can push them around, but that doesn't do much crap, much of anything. What happens if you guys come into the water? Um... I don't know what to do. I know I can't go that way. That's that's a big giant sign that says you cannot go this way. Hmm. For the record, zombies drowned and explode underwater. Come on. I'm right here. Come on. Oh, and more of them coming here. Is it in an infinite loop? I wonder if this counts towards my zombie kill ratio. No, no, you just drown like the rest of them. Yeah, it looks like an infinite loop. They don't look like they're stopping. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much qualifies as a do not enter. All right, let's go. Let's go back the way I came. See what we can see. I don't want to go too far away from the ball because it seems like it's the wrong direction, especially this far out. I mean, I'm already backtracking too far for 
a first person shooter. Most first person shooters, you don't backtrack this far. Hmm. Bouncy, bouncy. Anything interesting? No. Not seeing any signs that say, basically, go this way, look here, kind of things. All I saw was the endless, li endless line of zombies coming at me. Huh. How do I get up there? Okay, so I figured it out. Um, yeah. Apparently you were just supposed to do a mad dash past the zombies. <laughs> I don't know. There was no real indication that that was this. Uh, I mean, if this was a puzzle game, you would think that wouldn't be one of the things you would want to do. But that's what happened. Do I want to fall down there or do I want to go up there? Let's try going up the three pathways. I have a funny feeling that the three pathways are just dead ends or... Or just not possible to get up, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, nope. I gotta fall down the hole. Okay. So, yeah, that that that's actually mildly disappointing to see. That I just had to make a mad dash around there to go up those stairs to get to that. Kind of disappointing. Hi, Craig. I think a monkey just disappeared. Oh, in case you're curious, um, yes, that did count towards my zombie kills. <laughs> just letting them all fall into water. Oh, it's you. See, now, are you a friendly... Like, are you trying to help me through all this, or what? I don't know. I'm mildly confused. Like, he might be just a big boss trying to... Whoa, no, come back here. Okay, he fell down a hole that I don't think I can get him out of. Uh, oh, I can get him out. Cool. Alright, stay there. Let's see, what's around? We got a door that I cannot enter. And that guy that's saying go this way. That's what he's saying. That's that, that guy right there. I don't know if he's like a boss that wants me to find him or what. But that's what that guy's saying. He's saying come this way. Does that look like a ball receptacle to you? ball receptacle. That's uh, so many ball jokes. Okay, so let's leave that there and see what happens when I go and jump on the other one. If that's even possible. I don't think that's possible. Simple solution. Come here. All right, you need to go up here. Sit right there for a second. And I need to run the whole way to the other side of the map. Stand here. Pull you very gently right there. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. I, I, I saw the ball going, so I tried to jump and it didn't work. Nope, nope, you stay right there. We'll go around. Look, Facebook. I have no idea what that's actually supposed to be. <laughs> I guess just a shape. There we go, okay. Push the button. Uh... 
And that did what exactly? Got me where? Uh, nowhere. At least I don't think. So you can put the ball there. I mean, it seems fairly clear that the ball needs to sit right there. But why? I would assume something's supposed to happen. Oh. Um. Ooh, I wonder. Hey, that worked. <laughs> cool. Okay, that was unexpected. I was actually expecting that to like flick up or something. Okay, what did that accomplish? I heard something. Oh, okay. Oh. The crazy huge guy said go the other way. I want to go the other way. This gets me in a hole. Yes, in a hole that I've got to follow Craig down. Hopefully I can breathe at some point. Hey, Craig. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was hoping that would do that. I actually got worried there for a second when the water didn't, like, start dropping or anything. Alright, uh, let's keep going. Whee! Oh, for the record, um... As I said before... I bought this game because... There's a part in it that's for, that's like, uh, Aperture Labs. And last time I played this, I'm look, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know where Aperture Labs comes in. But at this point, if it does come in, it's gonna be weird. Holy crap, it's a full train. Because hmm. this game doesn't really fit with the whole Aperture Labs thing. It's just, it's not right. It wouldn't be right to have you know, portal in there. So I started poking around the uh, Steam store page. He is. He's waiting for me. Poking around the Steam store page and found out that the Aperture Lab part is a DLC. A DLC that I didn't see, but it said it's a free DLC. Whee! Okay. Leave you there for a second. Oh, no, you've got to go in the hole. Kind of obvious that the ball's got to go in the hole right here. Anyways, uh, the Aperture Lab part is a free DLC that, um, yeah. I don't know where it is. I don't know how to get it. I don't know if it's just I have to wait until I finish the game key it there, but... Yeah, it's just DLC. Which is okay. I mean, I don't mind it that much. Oh, now I'm stuck. And I didn't want to read that because I didn't want to drown. Come on, Craig. There we go. I like the water effects of it going down the hole, but I'm mildly disappointed it wasn't uh, a whirlpool. Back in the hole. Alright, so where is this guy? I want to see this guy. Yes, you go right into the lava and do that. I don't appear to be getting the ball back. Not that way, anyways. Oh, no, wait. You need to 
go this way. So I need to get you some momentum and then just let you roll. I need to push the button and run my ass off. Alright, so I got you to roll past there. So are you going to flip back? No? Am I stuck now? What's going on? Or is there... Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Come here, Craig. Yeah, I'm gonna need to throw you underneath there. Or I just need to go across, push the button, pull you, and pull. So yeah, I need to improvise a little bit with you. Just pull you and let you roll, just like I did before. And I'm out! Hopefully I didn't just come back the way I, the way I went. Well, there's a magnet right there, so if I roll him there, he goes boop, and he gets sucked up by the magnet. What's over here? Nothing! Wait, that's an X. I wonder if that means don't go this way, go this way. I wonder if that... I wonder if that's true. I might have to look into that. So where'd the ball go? Well, crap. Okay, I stood on the button, nothing happened. Interesting. Go away. Okay. So, what now? Any way I can kill this guy? Like, seriously. It's getting a wee bit on the annoying side. Right, this one again. There. Yeah, okay. I suppose I can actually kill you by knocking you around. Let's go see if there's a place I can kill this zombie, because holy crap, this is getting annoying. Because now I have four health. Okay, so while giant bowling ball in a zombie apocalypse is a unique idea, I'd much prefer a shotgun.
case you already couldn't figure out what would happen, they dropped the ball on you. Literally. I'm actually getting a little disappointed in this game. Had potential, but it's mildly disappointing a couple of things that I'm seeing. Oh, it's you. Are we going to be doing something interesting? No, he's like, go. What the hell? I have no idea what's going on right now. Is that the way I came? No, I don't think it is. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. I really, really don't. <laughs> okay, so the ball does not sit over the hole here. Just does not. It refuses to. Okay. Can't go that way. There are other holes we can go down. Alright, so ball needs to come down here. And I need to do that by destroying... The environment, apparently. Just like that. And then I would guess... Correctly, that I need to jump up there. Well, that was easy. Alright, now what? I pushed the button, it didn't do anything. Again, with the no visual indications of what to do. That's louder than it was before. Alright, so let's look. We are not turning, this thing is. So let's see, this is the direction I came from, so that's a no. I don't think that was open before. So let's go in here. Yeah, okay, this is new. This is definitely new. Hi. Bye. It's chasing the monkey. It's actively chasing the monkey. And it squished the monkey. Whoa! Hey, I have 100% health. When did I get 100% health? There were like no health packs or anything. It just kind of happened. When did that happen? Hmm. Okay, so if I walk up here and I push that button, what happens? We get a magnet. Okay. Then what? So what, am I supposed to somehow bang it off that direction? What? Well, it's okay. I have no idea how to get up there. 
Alright, let's see what else is around. Uh, well, I'd say that's a pretty clear sign to go that way, but that way is closed. This way is inaccessible. That's back the way I came. Oh, I see. You put the ball in the conveniently marked hole. You push the button. And it's an elevator. Creative. Yeah. Next. Am I supposed to be bringing the ball with me? I would actually assume not, since I can't figure out how to get it up here. Okay, I would guess, yes, that was an extra set of staircase. And around we go. Duck. Woo. Low ceiling. Whoa. Okay, um, very low ceiling. I gotta jump that. Oh, I hate these kind of platformers. I really do. Jump. Duck. No, I gotta go forward. Ugh. And then I gotta go back. Jump there. Step on that. And it says area complete. Did that pop up before? All right, so area complete, what does that do? I'm so glad I don't take fall damage. That lets me go that way, apparently. Whee! Boom! Boom! Yep. Okay, I gotta go this way. I was gonna say, I thought I, at first I thought I had to ride the ball around the lava, but I'm thinking, ah crap, I never learned how to do that. It's flowing lava, which appears to not give a problem to the ball. Alright, I'm fairly sure I have the ability to jump over there, but does that get me anything? No. But this will. I take it that means the ball can't follow me. Alrighty. Nope, the ball can't come with. Alrighty. Platforming time. Let's see how many times I fall into the lava pit. Woo! That was close. This guy can jump. What was that? There's a hook. Was that there before? Those are my footprints. Oh, sweet. Go this way. Oh, I went this way and... Damn it. All right, so the ball needs to come uh, this way somehow. Come on, come on. Round the corner, round the corner. And into that little marked off area right there somehow. In case you didn't know, the whole jumping over lava thing is bothering the hell out of me. 
Alright, so we sit you there nice and safely, and then we have to jump back around everything. Why do I have footprints everywhere? Seriously, I'm not exactly walking in water here. Just a bunch of wooden slabs. Then I do this. That goes down. And I get an area complete. And I get what now? That way. Okay. Guess I have to take the ball around here. Go this way with it. Oop. Almost fell into the lava. At least I assume that's lava. I mean, I guess I am kind of assuming a lot here. I mean, it's glowing and it's yellow and it's bubbling over there. So yeah, I would assume it's lava. And I would assume I really do not want to fall in it. But, uh... I guess it could be a really, really... Bright version of lemonade. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm being a little optimistic here. That's okay. I'm being optimistic that I can actually finish this. To be perfectly honest, right now, if I wasn't doing this for YouTube, I wouldn't be playing this game right now. <sighs> I wouldn't be making it the entire way through this level in one shot. <laughs> uh, I'm getting mildly bored with it. Come here, Craig. Sizzle, sizzle. Are we done with level one, level three yet? No. Oy. I swear these are getting longer. And it doesn't help that I don't exactly know where I'm going. I... Who are you, anyways? Like, is there a purpose to you? Does... what... um... Whoa! Well, that sucks. I don't take fall damage! Pfft. Yeah, that didn't work. Was that supposed to be aggressive or were you just telling me you have to go this way? I, I am actually kind of hoping that he's a uh, friendly. I, I am, I honestly am. Oh hey, end of level. I really am hoping he's end of level, or he's a friendly. I would like that a lot. Yeah, I want to get out of there before I drown. But, oh crap. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, do that. <laughs> I wanted to get out of there before I drowned. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna end it up here, as you can tell. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give a give a thumbs up, and uh, you know that helps out your favorite YouTubers a hell of a lot. But I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game and have fun.